This is how the new bear park in the Swiss capital Bern was officially opened, with fish throwing. <laughs> the park's inhabitants, Björk and Finn, get to eat the fish, and the Bernese dignitaries and park sponsors keep the hats. Mm. It's a dream come true for the director of the city zoo, who spearheaded the project, despite the fact that it took 10 years to realize and was way over budget. Now they've got about 6,000 square meters. It's uh, earth, grass, trees, branches. They can uh, dig, they can sleep, they can run, walk, they can take a bath in about 2,000 cubic meters of water. So I think it's uh, well, a totally new life for the bears of Bern. And it's a far cry from the concrete enclosures known as the Berngraben, the bear pits, which have housed the animals for the past 150 years. As attitudes towards the keeping of animals changed, the city came under pressure to close them. I think the bears have too little space. Their species need more room. I mean, the bears are cool to look at. I think it's kind of sad that they live in this little pit you know, I mean, they're like a wild animal that needs more habitat than a little cement block. It's nice, but it's too small for the bears. When Pedro, the last bear to be kept in the Berengraben, died in April 2009, the city decided to open the pit up to the public to show what kind of life he'd led. So here we are where the bears used to sleep, die, it's not big, it's small. Of course, we used to have straw in here, so they had a little bit better place to live, but uh, just imagine, that's your life. The last bear, he used to be in the pit from between nine and half past nine until roughly half past five in the afternoon. And the rest of his life, he was in such a stable. And if you think that's bad, it was much worse for Pedro's predecessors. In 1513, Byrne's first mascot bear was brought back from the Battle of Novara. He and his successors were kept in various parts of the moat that ran alongside the city wall. The first pit was here on the present-day Bärenplatz, or Bear Place. The second was here in Arbergergasse. And the third at Bollwerk. Here in the middle of the road was once again a gate tower and on the outside of the wall and of the gate tower was a moat. And in this moat was the third bear pit. It was dark, it was moist and uh, most of the bears died very, uh, very fast. So there was actually the plan to do it, um, to rebuild the bear pits on the other side of the, of the, of the river Aare. Uh, which was a little bit with, with more sun, more sunny and better for the bears. The fourth and final pit, the Berengraben, opened in 1857. The historic building is now set to become a visitor centre. The much more bear-friendly park is right next door, near the River Ara. It seems to be a hit with the public, who helped to sponsor it through the purchase of personalised paving stones. So it's definitely, yeah, it's much better. They have much, much more space. It's, no, it's, 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 it's good, it's better. Definitely. Ah, oh, that's worth uh, uh, traurig. <laughs> the bear pit was a sad place. I always felt sorry for the bears. It was not nice at all. I think this is great, much more animal friendly. It's a lovely spot for the animals. The place where they were kept before was a bit extreme. Here, they have a lovely space and a nice swimming pool, almost like a luxury hotel. The older bears in the park may later be joined by two orphaned cubs, a gift from the Russian president to the city of Bern. They're currently to be seen in the city zoo.